welcome back to our channel. Today I'm sharing about our Montessori play at 16 months old. On this account, I share about our Montessori journey from birth um, with my son. At the end of last month, I introduced his first threading material and he has been loving threading. So we also introduced a couple others. Um, this one has been such a hit. This came in our newest Love Every box. Um, and it's a bit more challenging than his previous threading material because it has a smaller dowel, a shorter dowel. Um, so it requires a bit more fine motor control and he is loving it. Since he is loving threading so much, I decided to try to do a DIY threading activity. So this one, I just took a wooden spoon and some cut off paper towel rolls um, and had him thread them onto the spoon. And he loved this activity as well. This is a great one if you're looking to do Montessori on a budget. It just shows how simple activities can be. He continues to love this peg drop. Um, he figured it out last month, but is still really enjoying it and still tends to only use one. So I'm sort of seeing if he starts putting in all three at once, um, what he does with that, but he's still really enjoying it. So it has remained on the shelf. He's been loving this puzzle as well. Um, I found that he liked this one better than the different shapes one. So I'm going to bring the different shapes one back out and see what he thinks now that he has worked on and mastered this um, different sizes of the circles puzzle. But he's really enjoyed this one. Um, I feel like we've just got to mastery level near the end of the month. And I'm going to rotate it out at the beginning of the next month. He has been loving some more challenging fine motor work, um, posting work. So we've had the coin drop out this month. Um, we switched it sometime last month from the carrot posting, which he was also really enjoying, um, but I wanted to give him more of a challenge and the coin drop has been perfect for that. I also made this DIY posting activity with a tissue box and some old gift cards. And this was a great one also for that fine motor posting work. Um, this one required some more finger strength as he had to push them down. I did just a little slot. You can do a bigger slot for an easier time um, or the small slot for a more challenging activity. This is another posting activity. This is uh, flower posting with felt flowers. We did some flower arranging with real flowers as well. Um, so I thought that he might be interested in this, um, which is, uses felt flowers to sort of practice putting stem down as he was doing them with the petals down when he was doing it in the real um, vase. So I thought that this would be a good one for him to try and he's really been enjoying it. He continues to love stacking activities. Um, this was a stacker that was in a, an earlier Love Every Box from several months ago. So I brought it back out because at the time he was not really using it this way. Um, so I thought I'd see what he thought about it now and he loves it now. So that was a really fun discovery um, of an older material. We also have a few other of these dowel type stackers out, um, one in the living room and one in his bedroom. And he's really enjoying both of them as well. Um, so this one's the one in the bedroom. He uses this daily and he's really enjoying stacking on it. He has been interested in throwing this month as well as containment. So we have been doing boxes for him to throw balls in and that has been a really fun sort of versatile activity this month. Though this is focused more on toys and DIY activities, he's also loving Practical Life this month and Practical Life activities really remain his favorite and stay tuned for more about Practical Life and our favorite Practical Life. Thank you for watching our Montessori play at 16 months old. Come back next month for more Montessori play and also just check out our channel for more about Montessori, for about cooking with toddlers and other things like that.